Hello, I'm Robert Gardner, and this is Screening Room, 1980s. Um, I think it's the seventh year of our doing these screening rooms. I think it's been about seven years since I've thought about having the guest that's on the program tonight. His name is Jean Rouche. He's a uh, Frenchman. He's an anthropologist. He's a very important filmmaker in France. He's getting better known in uh, this country because he goes around showing his films a lot, talking a lot. Uh, we are going to have the privilege of seeing some of his films and of talking to him about his filmmaking, what films mean to him. Um, it's a great pleasure to have you, Jean. Do you think of yourself as a filmmaker or as an anthropologist? Uh, or does it matter? Or do you ever well, think uh, about yourself? Yes, you see, when uh, uh, as with anthropologists, they consider me as a filmmaker. When I'm with filmmakers, they consider me as an anthropologist, which means I'm... Uh, you see, I'm Gemini by birth, which means I'm in the two places in the same time. I see. Yeah. Yes. In fact, in fact, I'm an engineer by formation. By. Mm -hmm. Or a civil engineer, uh, as they call in France, uh, ingénieur des ponts et chaussées. I was trained to build the bridges and the roads. And I started, uh, strangely, my engineer life. It was in 39 during the war. And I started uh, with the bridges to blow up the bridge when the German army was in invaded. France? France, yes. Uh -huh. That was my third job, which is a kind of paradox. Uh, yes, and it's slightly ironic that you should be blowing up bridges instead of building them. <laughs> yes. right? But uh, uh, four years later, then I was building bridges again, not in the same way, but uh, uh -huh. going to Germany and the Rhine River and so on. That, in fact, there is a <clears throat> but your But your energy has been going into uh, anthropology and film for the last uh, years since your engineering. Yes, when, uh, right. after, after the war, uh, we decided with two of our friends to change our discipline. And uh, we went to Africa as engineers. And uh -huh. I started in Africa as an engineer during the German occupation of uh, France. And then uh, I, I discovered so astonishing things that uh, real, even a scientist mind cannot understand. Then I decided to proceed and to go on. I was in contact with the Musée de l'Homme, with the Museum of Man in Paris. And we decided to go on and to try to learn philosophy. Mm -hmm. Then I was uh, trained an, as an anthropologist. And it is as an anthropologist that uh, I took with me a camera, because my teacher said, you have to make phot slide photographies, moving photographies, and r sound recording mm -hmm. of what you are seeing. At this time, there was no sound recorders. Then I, it was in 46 or 47. Then I went to the flea market in Paris, and I bought for, uh, let's say, $100, an old, wonderful uh, Balanar, well, uh -huh. Filmo 70, yeah, which yeah. is one of the strongest and wonderful cameras. You still have it? Uh? Yes, I still have, with the yeah. wonderful Cook uh, lenses. Yeah. It was directly from the uh, American Army. Uh, news, uh, film news. The 16 millimeter. The 16 millimeter, yeah. yes. Then I started to film in 16. Uh -huh. And um, I was not teached as a, as a filmmaker, in fact, uh, but uh, I was a film fan, as we say in France, and I was uh, sitting uh, two or three hours every day at the Cinematheque Française mm -hmm. and uh, at the front row, just in front of the screen, and I was eating films, films, uh -huh. films. With Marie Merson was sitting beside you? Uh, we, uh, yes, and Langlois on the other side. Uh -huh. And there was uh, young lads la like uh, Jean-Luc Godard, uh, like uh, Truffaut, mm -hmm. like uh, Chabrol, what they call later on the new wave. We, just, we didn't know each uh -huh. other. I was an anthropologist, they were uh, critics in... Uh, yeah. But you were part of the new yeah. wave then, or yes, you was. washed up on yes. Africa instead of Europe? Yes, I was, I was a member of the group at, yeah. the, at the very beginning. Yeah. So you watched a lot of American films, I suppose, and must have seen some of the early American anthropological films. Well, well uh, in fact, my first, the first film that I saw in my life was uh, Nanook of the North. Mm -hmm. I was, the first one you ever saw yes, in your life? in my life. It was yeah. in Brest. My father was officer in the Navy. Uh -huh. And I, it was in Brest, in Brittany, in French Brittany. And uh, I was maybe five years old. And I remember really? quite well that I saw the Nanook and the smile of Nanook. Fantastic. I never, I never forgot it. And anything. so you were sort of imprinted with this film then. I mean, it, it, f it formed a, an imagination for yes. you, I think. Uh, you see, my father was a, a polar explorer. Mm -hmm. 
uh, some 20 years before, and then I was, I knew something about that, but uh, there was this, uh, this, I remember quite well, and when I see Nanook, maybe I saw mm -hmm. Nanook... A uh, hundred times since. Uh, more than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can remember quite well what was my reaction, for example, uh, with uh, sea launching, mm -hmm. or uh, the other sequences, and the, the, the docks mm -hmm. at the end, the docks, when there is this uh, snow mm -hmm. storm, mm -hmm. just there, uh, shivering. Yeah. Wonderful. It, and really, uh, Bob, I'm not joking, during uh, years and years, when I was, want to go to sleep, I put me in my bed, and I was thinking of these dogs. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Really? Trying to stay warm? Right? Yes. yes. There's no problem in Africa. <laughs> Jean, we have uh, a number of uh, excerpts from your films, not all the ones that I wanted to see, but at least ones that, uh, that either I haven't seen or would like to see again. Uh, for example, we don't have things from Chronique d'été, and we don't have things from your long films. We have things from other yeah, so parts of your life. Extracts yeah. that I bring here. The first one is uh, is uh, something you call rhythm of work, I yes. think. And do you want to just say one or two words about that? Uh, is it an experiment? It's not really a film. It's no, it's not really a film. It's, it's a, a shot. Uh, no, it's a, an extract of a film. I was making a film about uh, the new techniques in architecture in a small island of the Niger River. And it was um, this wonderful experiment where people were making new houses. They built uh, the house in two days. Mm -hmm. Then they have uh, the family of uh, the, 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 the builders. New of builders have to prepare the food for everybody. Uh -huh. Then I need a, sequ a sequence in which the girls and the women were Preparing just pounding the, food, pounding yeah. the, the millet grain. Mm -hmm. uh, I, well, the need was maybe uh, half a minute. Mm -hmm. Then. Uh, I asked with the girls if it was possible to sing in the same time. Sing then, at the same time. To sing, to yeah. sing, yes. Then I was with my camera and was moving slowly to the girls. And they knew me quite well for uh, maybe uh, not 20 years, because they were less than 20 years, but uh -huh. uh, they considered me as a grandfather. Then uh -huh. I was no problem. And they started to sing a song about a, a young lad called Modi. And the song was so good. Mm -hmm. And they were doing their work so good, it means that they were using their mortars As like a, a musical a instrument. Musical instrument. Yeah. And then I didn't stop my camera. Mm -hmm. And then during, let's say, uh, two minutes and a half or something like that, I was just turning around them, mm -hmm. just because they were playing wonderful music. Of mm -hmm. course, their, wo their work was, uh, was finished, yeah. but they did it again uh -huh. for the play. Yeah, I've seen that happen in Africa. Let's look at Jean's uh, extract from a film called Rhythm of Work, uh, Girls Pounding Millet. <laughs> 